Hello all, JMO here from NFlight Technology. I have a little bit of knowledge that I'd like to throw at you and you can put it in your back pocket and use it as you will. The other day here in the mountains, we had a crazy gusty swirling wind crosswind kind of day. And I thought to myself, what a better time to go out and just do some practice, some training stuff, you know, like ailerons into the wind and dealing with the gust, aircraft configuration, and just, you know, testing some different ideas and thoughts uh, at dealing with, you know, these cr gusty, crazy crosswind scenarios in the mountains. And they weren't even scenarios, they were real life scenarios, right? Because it was happening. So I called my friend Dan. Dan is the, uh, owner operator of our local upset recovery tailwheel aerobatics school and he's one of my best friends so we fly together a lot and just nerd out on aviation uh, i wanted to capture the flight not so much cinematically but for a training you know for training purposes right so i grabbed a gopro hero 12 uh, one of our nd16 or n flight nd16 propeller filters and uh, jumped into the airplane I didn't have time, I didn't want to think about being cinematic or anything, um, and I covered the cinematic nerdy nature of our ND16 filters and other videos, and those video links are listed in the description. But on this particular day, I did not want to nerd out and get all cinematic or anything like that. This was purely for training. So I kind of went out on a limb and just threw the ND16 filter uh, onto the GoPro Hero 12 and put it on HDR mode. Now, HDR mode uh, is basically telling the GoPro computer that you want it to expose everything in the frame equally. I can't count the amount of videos I've seen in aviation where the windows are completely overexposed and you can see nothing, no horizon, no line of sight, just people focused on themselves and or the controls. But I wanted to have my controls as well the line of sight as Dan and I experimented with different ways to take on swirling, gusting mountain crosswind. Um, so I put the camera on HDR and just crossed my fingers. Sure enough, the GoPro HDR mode worked fantastically, exposing the inside of my high wing aircraft quite well, and also the line of sight, the runway, uh, all the important things, right? So we were able to use the video uh, as a training review tool. Uh, you know, as we experimented with our aircraft and different ways to take on these crosswinds. The bottom line is that the GoPro Hero 12 with the N-Flight ND16 propeller filter with the camera on automatic HDR mode works phenomenally. Uh, did a great job exposing the control panels, but most importantly, the line of sight as my buddy Dan and I uh, did some training exercises and some wild crosswinds. There you go. Enjoy everyone, fly safe, be well.